Hey you guys, welcome back to Crypto Mining Insider. How have you been? I have been really busy. I was actually traveling this past week to my daughter's university. She just graduated with a degree in computer science and I am so proud of her. So please join me in giving her a big thumbs up for her achievement. I know she's gonna have a bright future. And we have some great news though to report on the mining frontier as well. So it seems NiceHash is at it again. NiceHash has been the pioneer on the 100% LHR unlock. As you know, they were the first miner to introduce it. And now they're making headway on the LHR3 cards. So they have a new version of the quick miner version 0.5.42, which targets the 3050 and the infamous 3080 12 gigabyte, which has always been a very problematic card. And now I finally got my hands on one. Since I've seen this new release, I knew the opportunity was there. I grabbed a 3080 12 gig and I'm going to be throwing it in the rig and we're going to be doing some tests of before and after. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to press down on that subscribe button. Stick with me and let's get started. Looking at the blog post on NiceHash, we see NiceHash Quick Miner LHR3 Unlock. Dear NiceHash Miners, a new Quick Miner version 0.5.42 release candidate has been released. It features 90% LHR V3 unlock RTX 3050 and 3080 12 gigabyte cards and major stability improvements, which I definitely welcome that. And especially now that I just got a 3080 12 gigabyte to test with. So the change log, this features partial unlock 90% of LHR V3 cards, as well as bug fix, higher stability, no more BSOD, otherwise known as blue screen of death. Attention, this version requires NVIDIA driver 512.15 or higher. So I have to upgrade the driver on my computer and I'm gonna be all set to test in a minute. It also said sometimes the excavator can unstabilize the NVIDIA driver and cause crashes. This is a known issue. I've seen this on multiple of the different LHR unlock miners, but hopefully with the new stability improvements, we don't see much of that. It says install the latest version of the quick miner by downloading the quick miner installer and selecting the release candidate version or use the portable version. So before I begin my testing of the latest quick miner, I wanna get an accurate baseline number of what the 3080 12 gigabyte was doing on the previous versions of the miner. So let's begin by doing some initial testing of the previous version of the quick miner. So we'll at least have accurate numbers of before and after. I've just downloaded and installed the latest stable version of the quick miner. It's the previous version to this release candidate and it's version 0.5.36. I've downloaded this miner and I have it running. I tuned it in NiceHash over to be medium. I have two graphic cards in this computer, but I'm only testing the mining on the 3080 12 gigabyte card. And I just went to the optimized settings for the overclocks and I just selected medium to see what does it give me right out of the box with these settings. And it's up in mining. I see I'm getting an average of about 62.64. 62.65 mega hash. I could probably tune it a little bit more, but the numbers I was always hearing up till now were generally about 63 mega hash. But look, the power efficiency is 216 watts, but the overall efficiency is still pretty low. It's like 290, 289, which is really poor performance. I know just seeing these numbers, if I was one of those first people who bought a 3080 12 gigabyte, I would have been extremely disappointed with these mining results. I have only about 30 shares accepted, but I'm not expecting any progress from this. So I'm going to be switching now over to the new release candidate of the quick miner to see what is the new LHR3 unlock at 90% give us. So let's jump over to that test. Looking back to the nice hash blog post about the new release candidate for the quick miner with the LHR V3 unlock, it clearly states here, this version requires NVIDIA driver 512.15 or higher. So I can just even quickly open up my MSI afterburner and I can see on my computer, I'm currently running with driver 511.79. So I'm gonna need to update the driver, which is pretty easy. So switching over to the NVIDIA website for the latest version of the GeForce driver. You see the latest version of the driver is 512.95. However, this driver in my experience is toxic. It actually paralyzes LHR GPUs. I've created a separate video showing how it locks up all the unlocked LHR cards. So I'm not gonna be using this one. I do not encourage anyone to be using driver 512.95. Once again, I feel it's toxic. Instead, I'm gonna be using 
previous driver, which is 512.59, which I've had great experience with in the past. And I'm going to be using that for my testing today. So let me download and install that driver and let's get into our testing. Okay, so I have my driver updated and now I'm using the latest version of the Quick Miner. I'm really excited and I can't wait. So let's start up this miner and hopefully we'll be seeing some new epic results in a few minutes. I'm very, very excited. So cross your fingers with me. Hopefully this definitely brings us some big improvement because the 3080 12 gigabyte was really a big disappointment to a lot of people who were interested in using it for mining. It seems like with the advent of the LHR3, it locked the cards even more, but I'm seeing, okay, so I already see, wow, I'm already into above 90, 90.33 it looks like, 90.33 megahertz. That's a huge jump forward for us because we were stuck before we seen about 63. This is right off the bat, I'm seeing it 90.33 Mine is slowing down a little bit. Maybe it's calibrating because it is still LHR locked and we're limited to a certain degree. 90s is looks like where I'm at right now. I think I'm going to have to do some refining on the overclocks, see if I can fine tune it a little bit more and let me see how much I can get out of it. So let me bring it up, go to medium, high. Yes. Okay. That's good. So now we're running in high and it just raised the intensity on the card a little bit more. Normally I don't usually use the OC tune tool. The high settings, I'll usually go in and manually do it, but I just want to see what type of numbers I can get right out of the box without actually doing any hand or manual overclock tuning to it. But wow, 97.11. So I've already jumped now 34 mega hash from where I started. We started at about 63. Now we're crossing into 97. So this is a huge step forward for us miners now because me included, I have a 12 gigabyte 3080 card. This is definitely a big welcome addition, and I'm really excited about this. And I think it's just a matter of time before they even get maybe 100% out of this card as well as the 3050. This is an incredible breakthrough. Nice hash, you've really been at the forefront, just pioneering these new initiatives. I know some of the other miners have been doing a great job too, but let's admit it, you were number one. You were the first miner to come out with the 100% LHR unlock. So definitely kudos and big thumbs up to you. But I'm really, really happy just with these results, even in the 90s. I'm going to keep tweaking it and see if I can get even higher if I put some manual overclocks behind it. So stick with me. Okay, so I just applied some manual overclocks. I have a core clock set to 1290 and a memory clock delta set to plus 1400. And the card seems to be holding cool from what I was seeing on the tuner side. Look, now I'm up to 103.55. So I am 40 mega hash above where I started. Started at 63. Now I'm at 103. And I think I can even tune this and get even a little bit more out of it. I am just so blown away that now we're seeing these types of results in the miner. I'm so excited, obviously, for a full 100% LHR lock. Finally being able to at least get 90% LHR unlock out of my 3080 12 gigabyte. It's a huge game changer for me because the card was really very running very, very inefficient from what I've seen others reporting to me. And now that I actually have my hands on one of these cards, I get it. The card was really... It was a dog for mining, but now this definitely is a big uh, windfall change for us. I definitely welcome this addition. So definitely thumbs up to NiceHash for your big uh, improvement on this. And I can't wait for us to hopefully get to 100% very, very soon. I definitely see too, after this is running for a while, there's room for improvement because you see the power is still running up high. Sometimes it'll show into the 200 watts. Sometimes now I'm seeing it's over 300 watts. So the efficiency is not ideal. Sometimes I'll get numbers showing me a plus 400 on the efficiency, but even right now it's giving me like 340. So it's definitely not ideal as far as efficiency. But I think once we can crack that 100%, we'll be doing much better. And I definitely look forward to that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you used a quick mine and you have a 12 gigabyte 3080 card or even a 3050, you're gonna probably wanna give this a shot because Wow, seeing 40 mega hash improvement overall. It's just, it's an absolute game changer for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a big thumbs up like, and don't forget to press down on that subscribe button so you get notified of any future progress and updates I'm gonna be making on this. I welcome all your questions and comments, so drop them down below. Till next time, stay safe. See you on the next video. Happy mining.